Hey, what's going on guys? This is Destiny Heroic, and uh, I've got a different sort of video for you today. Um, a lot of people, I don't know if a lot of people on my channel know this, but a lot of, de definitely everybody at my locals knows that I am a Bujin fanatic. Uh, it's my favorite deck at the moment. It's the only one I play, even if it's not even the right format for it. But anyway, um, so what I wanted to talk about was uh, some uh, a prediction and some uh, coupled with some patterns that are emerging in the uh, the release of Bujin cards over various sets. So uh, first thing I want people to notice is that well, first thing I'd like to have a disclaimer. Um, this is not my uh, idea. This is something that's uh, being discussed in um, message boards, and I'm sure a lot of people have kind of are kind of looking at the patterns and sort of predicting that this might be something that's going to happen. But uh, this is I just want to vocalize this and see um, and see what people think, what the uh, what they might expect to see in the uh, Primal Origins set coming up. So uh, first of all. Um, I'm sure everybody has noticed at this point that uh, all the Bujin Beast Warriors are uh, are uh, resembling um, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX main characters. So we've got uh, Jaden, we've got uh, Chaz, we've got Bastion. And uh, when the next set comes out, we've got a white uh, Bujin Beast Warrior called Bujin Harumi who resembles Alexis. So what I wanted to look at was uh, basically there's that pattern and uh, each each uh, Bujin set, each uh, pantheon of Bujins that come out in each set are color coded. So in the first set we have uh, Yamato and Susano uh, plus these five Bujinji cards and they're all sort of colored orangish uh, to go along with the uh, uh, Slifer Red from Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. And then in the, in the set following that we have uh, uh, Mikazuchi and Kagatsuchi and a predominantly blue theme. Uh, and this goes along with Obelisk Blue because that's where Chaz is. And then over here we've got uh, Bastion in uh, uh, what was it? Raw Yellow. And uh, everything is kind of a yellow theme. And uh, I'm going to talk about these three in a minute. Um, but uh, Alexis Bujin Hiromi is white, and that kind of goes along with her white phase where she was uh, under the influence of the Light of Destruction or whatever. Um, now, that's, uh, there's one more color of character that uh, was featured on the Yu-Gi-Oh! GX series, and that's Zane. Zane, when he, uh, he kind of went bad and he was into underground dueling. He was, uh, there was a lot of, uh, there was a black theme around him. And so you'll notice that uh, these three guys are also a black theme. And they've uh, been coming out over various sets. Now I, I happen to believe that there's going to be another Beast Warrior, a TCG exclusive Beast Warrior that looks like Zane in Primal Origins. And he's going to go along with these three. And I'm also predicting that there's going to be a fourth one of these. Um, that is much less likely to happen, and for this reason, um, each of these things that came out resembled a, a different card in the in the set already. So we've got uh, Worgen Wolf, Raven and Crow, and Pavo, and Peacock. So basically, it's basically like you have a dark version of each card. So. That is sort of evidence against there being a new Beast Warrior. Um, if anybody has seen the the, uh, the God Beast Warrior, the Bujin Te, it's actually Bujin Ki Amaterasu. Uh, Amaterasu is uh, a purple color that goes along with these. So that's kind of uh, evidence against the point I'm trying to make. I make, but um, it is still my belief that uh, the based on the uh, the patterns that are emerging that uh, there's going to be a new Bujin Beast Warrior and it's going to be modeled on Zane. Um, now these two cards, if if that's true and these and these guys are designed to work along with alongside Zane, then um, these two, this guy not so much, but these two uh, react when a Beast Warrior is destroyed. This one destroys something on the field and this one summons another be uh, Beast Warrior from the deck. 
So Zane, if he is, if he does come out, if there is going to be a new Beast Warrior, I believe he's going to go along with that. He's going to do something or respond to something or activate when a Bujin Beast Warrior has been destroyed. So, or he's going like if he maybe he'll special summon himself from the graveyard when a Bujin Beast Warrior is destroyed. Um, so that would mean that you would get things like uh, Yamato dying. You could drop Pavo, bring out uh, another Yamato, and then Zane, whatever his name is, will pop out of the graveyard, and you can make a Susano or something on the following turn, which would make the deck really good. That's a really awesome play, I think. And um, so, yeah, that's that's kind of what I think uh, the Zane card would do. Um, another thing that's happening is that each time uh, a set comes out, we get one Beast Warrior and a God version of that Beast Warrior. So basically, it's the Beast Warrior with the Bujinjis armored up into this uh, Exceed monster that's some kind of God. They all have God names based on Japanese mythology. Uh, god of Lightning, God of Storms, God of the Moon, and Amaterasu is the God of the Sun. Um, I don't know exactly what a uh, dark god would be, but my prediction is that its name would be Aizanagi, which is sort of the father of these uh, this pantheon of gods in Japanese mythology. So, yeah, that's that's kind of where I was going with this. Um, I'd like to open this up to discussion. It's not really something that I usually do on my channel. But like I said, I'm a Bujin fanatic, and I'll be very excited if we see some more TCG-exclusive Bujin cards coming out in Primal Origins. And there's a lot of time to talk about this and think about this, and uh, um, if you actually believe that this is going to happen and some more, and Bujins are going to become a good deck, then it's lots of time for you to pick up the Bujin cards, which are kind of expensive net right now, but definitely not as expensive as they could be. Um, I myself have already picked up a second Bujin deck, uh, looking to get a third or even a fourth by the time this set rolls out in case the uh, exclusive cards uh, basically break Bujins. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm going to start putting up more videos um, because um, I don't like it. I don't like that my channel is really stagnating. So I'm going to be I'm going to get back into posting Yu-Gi-Oh videos, but I'm still going to be posting a lot of Vanguard videos. Uh, so anybody who's a uh, a fan of either of those series or Yu-Gi-Oh or just v Vanguard are going to be happy with what I put up. So thanks for watching. Uh, check out all my other videos and peace.